I may not be the first one doing this pao fan, but we are the one that make it so popular that everybody came to follow us doing this pao fan. I'm Darren. I'm uh, 44 years old this year, and I'm running this family business TK Kitchen, and whereby we are specialized in how fun. Uh, used to be a seafood store, zhicha store, but uh, over the years, more and more zhicha all over the island. So we decided to specialize in some dishes. We came to this idea of selling pao fan. Actually, for me myself, I love fish soup. Especially, I love to eat fish soup. Then, when I went to Hong Kong, I came across this dish. I came back to try to do it myself. Actually, at first we were selling only white rice in soup, but the taste wasn't that fantastic. It was like fish soup, rice. So, doesn't make us difference from from other other fish soup. Stores. So when then I tried to do some trial and error, then I came up with this fried rice. My fried, uh, my rice I changed to egg fried rice. Then when we use the egg fried rice into the dish, the dish itself got a work. Hey, then I came to think of that. Why not I try this? Try this to to serve my customer. When I first came up with this, customers give me a very very good feedback, saying that wow, even a soup dish can have work hey, no, because right now due to the COVID business is not good, then we started to so called invent another one, whereby this we came up with a new hot pot pao fan, whereby all other restaurants not doing and. We will do the dish. We will cook the dish right in front of you guys to let you know, the, let you smell the the cooking. And when you drink the soup itself, it's totally different from what other people is having. We have uh, old mother hen. We got pork bone. We got uh, many other ingredients inside. Whereby I, I cannot tell. <laughs> That's the recipe. And we brew the soup for six hours to get. The collagen feel. When you see the soup, you you see a layer of collagen on top. After my end national service, that was in 1999. I was in semicon all the while. Due to my father, he went for a major uh, heart bypass, uh, transplant, I say transplant. Then he was hospitalized for almost a year. Then my grandma persuaded me to leave my current, uh, that current job to go and help him. Actually, I, I don't like f and I don't like to serve customers. I don't like to face customers. Because I'm not those type of open up guy. Customer can be very nasty. When I started doing, helping my dad, I start from very, very scratch. I do so mopping, sweeping, serving, washing of toilet also. We got manpower issue because our we don't need so man, so much manpower at, at the time. So we try to give them time off. When it comes to no dine in, business drop at least 70% at the time. I started to do delivery from there. Slowly slowly my delivery from uh, First order, one order to daily almost 30 over orders. Then people get to know from us, get to know what is called how fun. Because there's a there's a page, face, Facebook page, Hawker United. I start posting there uh, on the first few days itself. So the whole Singapore started to know about us. After because the time I opened this new place, that was before the lockdown when I confirmed the place itself. Then after I signed the agreement. Wow, it was a nightmare to me. I, when I get the key itself uh, for this location, the, lock, the, the lockdown came in. I said, uh, oh, I, 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 do, I also was stunned over there because 
it's not easy because during that period I know that whatever I do there's is no it's useless and we 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 got the place for almost half a year then we started to do the business over here because one thing manpower issue we cannot get anyone there's no staff uh, Malaysia is, and Singapore is locked so we cannot get any Malaysian staff at all I I, I know how Singaporean thing uh, FMV uh, is a very tedious job long hours paid paid peanuts really paid peanuts I myself doing running a business we know how many how much profit we have earned we don't earn much because costing is rising and we don't increase price we still maintain at that level uh, do I have any mistake or regret doing this FMB uh, this this power from paradise actually no uh, I like to eat I love food I love create new dish that's why until now there's no regret for me hope that all customers or even Singaporeans or locals or even foreigners come and try our food persevere on <laughs> that's what I think business not good but I have to persevere on